Fisher was blinded. Oscar with a kick to the back of the neck. Here's the cover by Oscar. We got a new champion. The Empress of Tomorrow. Day and night. Your destiny's written all over the sky. Take your time. I'm reading the thoughts that take over your mind. You can't hide. My name. I am the future of your sorrows. Take your time. It's too late. I'm already living your tomorrow. You can't hide. Yes, we got a new champion, guys. We have got a new Raw Women's Champion for the first time in over a year since WrestleMania of last year, WrestleMania 38. We have a new Raw Women's Champion, and it is the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka slash Kana, is your new Raw Women's Champion. Wow. And, um... So, I released my SmackDown video from last week really late, right? So, I don't know how many of y'all was able to catch that video. But in that video, I was asking, with Bianca facing Asuka twice, right? It seemed like, why would you waste Asuka to just get beat by Bianca twice, right? Like, it just didn't make any sense to me. So, it made me start to think, okay, if I go by my theories that if somebody gets another uh, title shot, right? twice that definitely means they're winning the second time right it doesn't always turn out that way but in this situation when they started teasing you know they started saying okay bianca had like this street going and they celebrated it a couple of weeks at you know her, her, her hometown of knoxville tennessee right home of the volunteers and i was just like okay maybe they are going to get us the oscar right so they've been teasing it with the whole green mist thing and it came into play in this match. So let's go over how this went because this was a very interesting finish from Oscar to win this title against Bianca Belair. So let's uh let's go over how this ending went because it was very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. So Belair hit Oscar in the corner until the referee stepped in, right? So what we ended up seeing was was that Oscar at one point of the match, she ended up missing Bianca when she tried to spray her with the gray green mist, right? So she ended up putting it in her hand. And we didn't know why she was putting it in her hand at this point. So it was very, very interesting, right? Very, 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 very interesting part of the match. Um so after she blew the mist into her hand, right? Belair hoisted up Oscar for her finisher, right? So we thought the KOD was gonna put Oscar out, right? But Oscar was rubbed the mist into her eyes while she was on top, like while she had her in the uh, KOD position. Then she released her, and that blinded Bianca. So we had no idea that that mist was that strong. It must be the mist that she uses must be like the real strong one that um really has an effect, especially when it gets in your eye or near your eyes like that. And it just blinded Bianca and she just lost control of the match. And so Asuka caught Belair with a kick to the head that put her uh, down on her knees. And then Asuka threw another kick to the back uh, of Belair's head and then pinned her for the one, two, three. So that was all she wrote for Bianca Belair. They got 15 minutes in this match. And we got a title change. Um, really good stuff, man. Um, but what was different, I did want to note this. What was different about this crowd than the Puerto Rican crowd with uh, EO Sky was that the crowd was a little bit more uh, on Bel Air, uh, Bel Air side. So the Puerto Rico crowd was more on EO Sky. Um, so that was interesting, though. That was interesting. I thought that was an interesting dynamic there. Um, the Puerto Rico crowd reminds me of some of like the uh, U.S. crowds or Canadian crowds where it's sort of like bizarre world where sometimes, you know, like the heels get cheered or whatever. Uh, kind of like in cities like New York, Chicago, uh, you know, Philly and stuff like that, like the real tough, you know, uh, wrestling cities like that. It kind of reminded me of that. Um, but yeah, man, um, this was crazy. So Oscar wins. 
And um, I think everybody, I think most people, unless you're like a hardcore Bianca Belair fan, you're, you're probably not happy. But I think most people are happy uh, because we all been wanting a, like a different, um, a different champion. And to me, I know some people was asking for Bianca to turn heel, but I don't, I don't really want Bianca to turn heel. I'm gonna tell you what I think. She actually plays the, the babyface character pretty well. It's not an interesting character, but uh, to me, I think the way it is right now, I, I will leave her as a babyfacer right now. I think at some point, I do kind of want to see her turn here, but not right now, though. I, I think especially with Trish doing her thing with Zoe Stark right now, I definitely don't want to see her uh, turn heel just yet. Uh, Asuka's sort of like... Asuka is like this, like this tweener right now. I can't really call her a uh, baby face, or she's definitely not a baby face. But I also can't call, her, you know, she did a heel tactic today, though. That was, you know, the cheating is usually a heel thing. Um, but I'll call her a tweener for now. I'll call her a tweener, and I think she's going to be a very interesting champion too. So this is going to be very interesting, guys, to see how this is going to go. Uh, right now, the titles are still in a weird position where the uh, SmackDown Championship is on Raw and the Raw Championship is on SmackDown. So, when it, I don't know. See, now, I thought they were going to unify them, but now with Asuka having it, I don't think they're going to unify them um, at this point. I think they're going to leave them separate, but I, I still want to see what's going to happen. So, what I think they're going to, man, we, I don't even know if we're going to see Bianca and fucking Rhea. Let me know y'all thoughts, man. This is crazy, man. Go ahead and give this video a like, share, subscribe. Yeah, I want to, really want to thank y'all for watching. We're going to go over the other two women's uh, matches next. Thank, uh, that Zoe Stark and Trish one is, is fire. Y'all definitely want to hear my thoughts on that. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.